Hey there guys, LOI Games and welcome to Persona 4 Arena. So, let's choose a path. So we have a total of seven people to choose from. Let us go with my personal favorite, Naoto Shirogane. Thank you, Margaret. And you and both of you talked at the same time, so I don't understand what you guys just said. What follows are my impressions of the organization called the Shadow Operatives, as well as their leader, Mitsuru Kirijo. Okay, so she already knows about these guys. My fingers fly across the keyboard. My last case was special. I need to complete my report before I forget any important details. My name is Naoto Shirogane. I'm a detective. The Shirogane family has been working as detectives for generations. Though I am young and still in high school, I have been given the opportunity to take on several cases and have built up an experience in, as a det detective. My work has earned me some trust as, e as every so often the police will come, for me to his come to me for assistance. That's where the s this story begins. A sudden request from the Inaba Police Department. That was about a month, a month ago, early April. Last summer, I had received a request from the prefectural from the prefectural police to come to the town of Inaba. A bizarre series of murders were was occurring. A corpse was turned up. A corpse was turning up every morning after the foggy night. In the end, it turns out that the most difficult case of my career. It's been about two. It's been about two weeks since that case was closed. No, from the public's point of view, four months have passed since the crimes were, were stopped. The culprit has been arrested and prosecuted. Peace has returned, but but to return there, but to return there is a depressing proposition. I'm not unwilling to help the police again, but my involvement with the previous case is not something I'd like to go through again. To be completely honest, that particular case was no simple series of murders. During the course of my investigation, I obtained supernatural power known as my persona, making me more than just a detective. I collaborated with other persona users and became di directly involved with the events of the case. Of course, if I were to tell this to the police, I would be treated as a, it would be treated as nonsense. Worst case scenario, I would be discredited. Having to leave out those details while explaining the events of the case is more than a little nerve-wracking and feels like lying, but there you have it. While on my way to the police department for this new case, I go through a list of possible questions and answers I would need. Alright, well, the police station. Something's different today, though. After greeting the re after greeting the, re the receptionist, I am I'm not led to the usual door meeting room. Instead, I'm taken to a reception area on the top floor. A leather trimmed sofa, a curved wooden table, a luxurious, rich scene setting. <sighs> Looks like this may take some time. If this was just going to be paperwork and basic questioning. They wouldn't have brought me to the special room. Is it a new case? I have to wait several minutes. I have to wait several minutes before someone comes speaking to me, with me. When the door finally opens, a man wearing a suit not fitting the uniform of a local uni of a local officer walks in. I'm sorry about the wait. His hands. He hands me his Allow card. Allow me to introduce myself. This card has a lengthy title, National Police Agency Security Bureau Sec Security Planning Division. I was shocked. They're most commonly known as the Public Safety Police, the, PC the PSP. The Security Planning Division. The Security Planning Division is the command center for, depart for departments that handle terrorist threats, coup, coup d'etat plots, and foreign affairs. The Secret Police also belong to this group. Why would a person of this importance come all this way to a rural lo local like this? 
I look at him. I look him in the eyes. He appears to be measuring me up. I see you're enough on the ball that you don't need a lengthy introduction. Good. Okay, what's up? Without any further talk, the man gets to his point. Have you heard of the Kirijo group? I doubt there are many who haven't. Exactly. I'll get right to the point. We'd like to hire you to perform a Sub Rosa investigation on them. You need a corporation quietly investigated. Why me? I don't see what I can do that your own department cannot. Basically, you want her to spy. I would agree if Shadows and Personas weren't involved. <sighs> so he knew. This time I'm, I'm, I am unable to hide my surprise. But the man continues either failing to see or purposefully ignoring my reaction. One summer 12 years ago, there was an explosion at the Kirijo owned Tatsumi Port Island, killing over 50 people. You would have been very young at the time. I've reviewed that case. The official explanation was that a gas main leaked during a construction project. Afterwards, though, a bizarre rumor saw quite a bit of circulation. The mass media noticed that there was a suspiciously large number of researchers amongst the casualties. Ah. They floated the theory that the official explanation was a lie, and that the explosion was really caused by some dubious experiment. No concrete evidence was ever found to support those claims, though. As I recall, the matter was left unsettled. Yep. Some may still remember the incident, though I don't think many could recall the finer points. Those rumors were all true. His voice becomes firm. What? Those researchers under Koetsu Kirijo, the old Kirijo group manager, were working on harnessing the power of shadows. The experiment went awry, and they lost control of the shadows. That's what caused the explosion. Experiments using shadows? They lost control? Are you saying the shadows flooded the city? The real world? I can't speak to that. There was no way of getting hard answers back then. No one took the spooky story seriously. <laughs> Who would? But that accident got the government and the police's attention. Though, well, they didn't launch an investigation until a year or two ago. That couldn't be helped. Law can only proceed... Law can only preside over the world as we know it. Things that cannot be explained can't be governed. Only those in the Kirijo group know exactly what happened and how much of the aftermath was dealt with. The aftermath? That word has a bad ring to it. It brings, my mi it bring it brings to my mind a cover-up of some dark Their secret. cleanup efforts continued until quite recently. They were using some method known only to them, entirely behind our backs. We think they've been conducting illegal activities in the ten years since then, while hiding behind their cleanup efforts. And you wish for me to confirm this? Not only do you have a relationship with us, you have a persona, and extensive experience in the field. How do you know that? We can't think of a better candidate. Are you not going to question how he knows? And since I'm not directly affiliated with the police, if I were to be caught in a trap, it wouldn't lead back to you. If that's the way you want to put it. My reply was meant to be sarcastic, but this conversation is expectantly draining. I must applaud public safety. They know everything about anybody they choose to investigate. There's no point in trying to bargain with him. He continues explaining indifferently, as if about to sense my res resignment. Resignation. Last year, in conjunction with the Kirijo group, we established an unofficial department in the force nicknamed the Shadow Operatives. It's a special unit capable of dealing with shadow-related cases. This is news to my ears. Same. That's a rather bold move. You went so far as to join forces with the ones you suspect of illicit activities? That's exactly why we did it. We must keep a leash on them by integrating them into the system. But the police are far behind information-wise. Officially, you are higher on the chain of command, but less so in practice. I tried throwing out a theory as I begin to grasp on what's taking place. The man didn't so much a, didn't so much as flinch, but he didn't give me much of an answer either. You need some leverage to keep your hold on them. Thus, this secret investigation. What exactly do you want me to do? That will depend on your answer. So that's their game plan, I, fig I figured as much. 
An organization as big as the Carrillo Group has heightened the secret about shadows. Now, should I take the job or not? As a person with persona abilities, I'm naturally interested in learning how so much is known about the shadows. And this job could potentially give me leverage over the government in the future. While I'm deep in thought, the man continues as if he can read my mind. If you think we're hiring you to further our organization, you're mistaken. I cannot help but look up at the obvious change in his tone. Our sources say it's possible that they've been talking students from the Kirijo-owned school into doing their dirty work. They've been pleading ignorance while making ordinary kids clean up whatever messes they've left. And that, we don't forgive. They're supposed to be upholding the law. We can't overlook things like this. He's surprisingly sincere. He stares right at me, unlike upon until now. Unlike upon until now, oh, alike, unlike up until now, his eyes are strong and bold. He truly doesn't want any, inno, anyone innocent to suffer. Of course, this could, this could be an act of, to convince me, but even though, but even then, I do agree with that op option, that opinion. All that reminds me, all that remains is to find out Kirijo's intentions. All right, in that case, I accept. Though I don't plan on abandoning my school life here, I'll do what I can to help, but only within those limits. I would never have dedicated con I would never have de dedicated conditions like this before. But the reason I had come to this town and transferred to Yasogami High School was all for my investigation. But the school life and the, the dear friends that I've gained have become irreplaceable to me. It may, it may sound childish to demand that I stay with my friends, but if they refuse to budge in that regard, that's that. However... That's fine with us. He accepts my condition, almost too easily. He then immediately begins to explain the details of the case. At the end of this month, the Kirijo group is airlifting some special cargo. Kirijo has asked our help in making sure the cargo is transported safely. We'd like you to accompany them as a police observer. What do they mean, transported safely? A police escort. Assurance of no public investigation if any unforeseen situation were to arise. Things like that. Of course, if anything does happen, we will hold them responsible. And what is this special cargo? Tell us. It's something to do with the shadow research. They've admitted that much, but we don't know the exact details. According to our research, it's most likely something from the old ergonomics research laboratory, classified as risk level four. That's dangerous, right? In other words, even though it's sealed up tight, it's extremely dangerous. Nailed it. They even have a risk scale for something like this. It seems the Carrillo research goes into, ver into a variety of different things. Also. Hey, it's Mitsuru. As I'm thinking, the man slides a photograph to me. It's a beautiful young lady. Her eyes show a strong will as, as striking as her blazing red hair. Her hair reminds me of something. I may have seen her picture while going through the documents regarding the Port Island incident. Of course, the girl in this picture was much younger. This woman will be on that flight. Her name is Mitsuru Kirijo. Kirijo. She's the oldest daughter of the Kirijo family, Oetsu Kirijo's granddaughter. It was he who devised the experiments 12 years ago. You should know that she's also a powerful persona user. And you know this how? <gasps> no one's gonna question how he knows that we're persona users? No? Okay. A persona user besides us? I was suspecting something like this, but to hear it out loud is still shocking. So there are Persona users other than those of us involved with the case last year. We believe she took the lead in gathering students three years ago when she was still in high school. We'd like you to first go to her residence and meet with her. All right. I'm sure you figured out by now, since she's a high-ranking Kirijo group official and a Persona user, but she's a shadow operative. She's member number one, the general manager, and not because she's a Kirijo but because she has the abilities to back it up. Can you do this? If she's dirty, then this won't be easy for you. 
I already accepted your assignment, so I must simply make the best of it. I offer my hand. He has a firm grip for someone who works in the front lines of the law. Well, this is interesting. A few days later, I received a message informing me that the transport has be, is to be on the 1st of May. It is on the school day, but since I'm taking the job, there's nothing I can do about it. In fact, I should be glad that this doesn't overlap with extended holidays. I haven't heard the details, but I expect to have some important arrangement during Golden Week. Arrangements to reunite with my upper classman, Yu Narakami, who was the leader of our group, dur of our group during last year's incident. I kept thinking about our, reu our reunion. It's only been two weeks since he left, but it feels much longer. I suppose that goes to show how much I'm looking forward to it. But I'm going off track. I need to think about my new job, so I hastily pull myself together. We're in the limo! May 1st. The cargo is due to be transported from the laboratory near the Carrillo Mansion. I make my way to the mansion to, pre to present myself and end up accompanying the security detail. The limousine is incredibly long. Apparently, it isn't, the, isn't, it isn't all that rare for the upper class in other countries to ride in cars this large, but it's downright comical on the tiny roads of Japan. That was where I met Mitsuo Kurijo in person. Nice to meet you. My name is Naoto Shiragane. Oh, I've been told Whoops. about you. It's nice meeting you as well. I'm Mitsuru Kurijo. Her beauty is enough to attract anyone's attention. She was so much she was so much less imposing than in the picture. I didn't expect the police's observer to be so young. Uh, she might be young, but she's feisty. Does that bother you? Oh, no. I didn't mean to downplay your abilities. Forgive me. I took a look at kirijo sans face. She's the only daughter of the founding family, but it's been two years since she renowned since she renounced the practice of the Carrillo group being run by the family. In other words, she's simply the CEO's daughter now, not the heir to the company. She must be used. She must be used to. She must be used to constant stress. Being a female leader at such a young age, getting people to acknowledge her must have been a struggle. I don't need to mince my words in dealing with the, with types like her. I decide to cut to the chase. Tell me, what are the contents of your cargo? I'm ashamed to have to admit this, but since the original researchers have passed away, we don't know what's in it either. We can't allow the worst case scenario for such an item to come to pass in the middle of a city. That's why we plan to transfer these items to a distant facility according to their indicated risk level. A natural decision. Her posture, her actions, her posture, her actions. If that was all an act, I must commend her for her ability to deal with the unexpected. But personally, my impression is that she's tr a trustworthy person. Before leaving, I'll ha I have a chance to see that, to see the Carrillo Mansion. I have to say that it is surprisingly simple. It wasn't just empty luxury, but something rather more. Re Rational. I feel that it shows what kind of person she is. At any rate, her intelligence and, pre and presence are proof enough for her upbringing. If she was hiding something, it would be hard to figure out. Figure that out. And I'll stay near the cargo along with the police escort. I'll contact you immediately if anything happens. All right. If anything is unclear to you, feel free to ask me. Her eyes look straight at me, and I feel like she could see through everything. I end our conversation shortly after, and quietly wait for us to arrive. I shall place a bookmark here. Well, so this is what happened to Naoto before the incident. So, I think I'm going to end it here, guys. Anyway, like your favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe to Compart of the Archives, and I will see you all later. Peace.